हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक इन आवर सेकेंड स्टैंडर्ड मैथ सेशन सो स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट सेशन वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द पैटर्न व्हाट इज पैटर्न व्हाट वी हैव टू डू इट वी हैव टू सी इट इन योर टेक्स्ट बुक नाउ सो फॉर दैट यू हैव टू ओपन लेसन नंबर ट्वेल्व पेज नंबर वन See on page number one hundred forty-three, our lesson number twelve is there. lesson number twelve patterns. So see here, what is pattern? A pattern is a series of items which items, shapes, numbers, letters, etc., placed in a certain order. So what you have to do? Take a pencil in your hand and. you have to bracket it okay after doing the bracket underline this pattern word this you, it will ask for fill in the blanks let's see next one patterns are everywhere around us that i told you in the last session the rug and bed sheet at home the tiles patterns in the kitchen and the bathroom a rangoli made during festivals etc are some of the common manmade manmade patterns next one patterns are also found in nature so here which are manmade patterns and which are, which patterns are find, find out naturally so here pattern of carpet you can see here this one tile pattern Uh, you can use in your bathroom or in the kitchen so like this way next natural pattern means uh, pineapple see everywhere it is small small uh, what that uns are there hmm? next one you can see a feather of peacock so it is also in the form of pattern and same type of feather are there for peacock so it is in the pattern next one we'll see here patterns are formed by repeating an object or set of object over and over again so patterns are formed by repeating means that is called repetition again and again the things are repeated or in the increasing order also so we'll see repeating pattern some examples are given here square two circle square two circle so square is repeated here so these circles are coming front same thing is here leaves are there one is uh, this side one is left side one is right side same way it has repeated and same is going on front next one see here shapes are there triangle square circle triangle square circle so triangle is repeated here so after triangle there is square so it has repeated and circle also repeated in the next see the next one now alphabets are there a b c a is repeated again so follows b and it follows c same thing here again c is repeated with a so again a has repeated then follows b and follows c see here there is a caterpillar no it in on caterpillar see here first in only mouth is there but second there are the different different patterns on his body what is there in first pattern it is going on next 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 and next so now open page number 144 on page number 44 there is exercise 12a now we are going to solve this exercise draw the next three shapes to continue the pattern also color them so coloring for uh, things you have to do as a homework color them you have to write, do as a homework coloring you have to do afterwards now we are drawing the shapes now see here triangle is there this is also triangle but 
the faces are opposite to each other the same way this uh, this triangle is repeated here and follows this triangle the same way this triangle we are going to repeat here so like this way we are drawing this triangle you also draw with me next one opposite triangle will draw so for this v we are we are going to write v and then slipping line next one again for a what we are doing the same way you have to do like a hill and then slipping line so like this way you have to draw next pattern we'll see circle triangle circle triangle circle circle follows triangle so next one will come triangle after triangle what is there circle so we'll draw circle and after circle what is there triangle so again we are going to draw triangle and now you have to color it but afterwards next one square circle square circle next what will come circle follows square so we'll draw here square and square followed circle so again circle and after circle there is square so this is repeated pattern which we are drawing now see the next one d number triangle square triangle square next what will come square follows triangle so we'll draw triangle first after triangle there is a square so draw the square and after square again there is a triangle so we are drawing here triangle okay next one square rectangle square rectangle so rectangle is following with square so we are drawing here square then we'll draw rectangle again rectangle follows square so drawing square we'll see the next one rectangle triangle triangle rectangle triangle triangle again double triangle follows one rectangle so we'll draw one rectangle next one triangle and then another one triangle so here we have completed f now g in circle there is square and in triangle there is circle circle inside square is there and triangle inside circle is there so what it follows square in the circle so like this way means then circle is following with triangle and inside there is circle and again it follows with circle and inside there is square next one we'll see upper arrow right arrow down arrow and again right arrow hmm. then what we'll do right arrow after what is there we have to draw upper arrow then again right arrow and down arrow same thing we are repeating again next one this is last one hmm. see here left to right down two slanting line then down to up from left to right again see so like this way here these two lines like this way then this way then two two slanting lines you have to draw so here we have finished exercise 12a first question now see the second question here is question 2 join the dots to continue the 
pattern so what we have to do here it the this point has engaged one is empty engage now here we have to keep empty and this we have to engage means we will draw one standing line now after standing line there is slanting line to this and then this side and here it will come slipping line same way this point is free this will engage so draw standing line then slip uh, slanting line on both side then again slipping line okay this is we have to keep free next we'll keep engage standing line from that point to slanting line and then slipping line add down same way keep this free this one engage standing line two slanting line on both side then slipping line free engage slipping uh, slanting line here no dot is there so we'll stop here only next one we'll see see two dots empty here one dot empty middle one is engaged so here what we'll do draw diamond shape then draw hexagon six sides should be there and now again draw diamond shape same way again you have to draw here diamond shape and complete the pattern next one what we have to do diamond shape is there but middle one square is there so here we are drawing square then diamond shape then square down then diamond shape and complete the pattern so here we have completed the pattern then question number three make your own pattern with the plain shapes you know as also color it so this is for homework right h w here different patterns you can draw here and color it so students bye bye we'll meet in the next session